Let's go back now to Kyiv, where there have been some Russian troop movements overnight, as we understand. Uh, the mayor of Kyiv, Vitaly Klitschko, with us now. Uh, uh, what can you tell us about this? I know that you've been out and about looking to see where troops are moving. What are you seeing? <clears throat> good afternoon. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. It's, uh, it's not secret. It's Kyiv is a target. It's a target, and that's why the Russians <clears throat> try to make a circle around Kyiv. Right now, so much forces, thousands of Russian soldiers north north of uh, our city right now. They uh, fight uh, the uh, satellite city uh, in Bucha, Irpin, uh, <clears throat> uh, Gastomil, uh, non-stop, already week-long the fight there. Uh, we don't have exactly the numbers of um, um, injured, wounded people or killed people uh, um, because there's uh, no connection there. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I guess uh, we receive uh, the numbers a little bit later, but right now we we guess it's, it's thousand, it's thousand mm -hmm. because it's not stop the fight there we listen every every day during the night the uh, alarm the bombing alarm and uh, so many uh, thousands of the people citizens uh, spend a lot of time in doors uh, uh, because uh, people are really afraid it's no yes. panic it's huge huge patriotic way uh, and uh, every uh, some uh, part of population already leave the city, but uh, everyone who stay in the city told one: we never go to the knee. We will. We are ready to defend our city. We fighting for our houses. We fighting for our city. We fighting for uh, our country. And uh, everyone is prepared to defend our future. Well, so, Mayor, let me ask you. Are, are, are... What are the indications right now of the troop movements? Are you worried that Kyiv could soon be surrounded on all sides? And do you have the food and the medical supplies in the city that you need? Uh, I want to say thank you very much for humanitarian help, what uh, Kyiv uh, received. Also, thank you much for all friends of Ukraine who sent right now humanitarian help, uh, the food uh, products, uh, they also defensive weapons, uh, because we need that very much. Kyiv right now have uh, resources for, I guess, for a week or maybe two weeks, uh, if if Russian make a circle around the Kyiv. But uh, our soldier destroyed the plans of Russian. They tried to do that already 10 days ago, but uh, until today, uh, this uh, his plans don't implement. implement. So, you know, one of the... Uh, several agreed upon humanitarian corridors uh, just overnight in Ukraine is actually from the suburbs of your city into Kyiv. Do you know how many people are trapped outside of the city, just outside in the towns and the suburbs bordering the capital city? Uh, right now, in, in this moment, is the uh, green corridors uh, from uh, Bucha because uh, the people was scattered and uh, we didn't have a connection. We just received the information. Thousands of the people uh, spent in the bunkers a uh, uh, week already and they, they doesn't have uh, food and water. And uh, I guess in a couple of hours we have uh, exactly numbers how many people, how much people we evacuate from this zone. So you've been visiting defense posts around Kyiv. What are you telling people? Uh, <clears throat> I tell to people, we never give up. Because we, it's our, it's our land, it's our city, it's our family. We defend our future. Uh, the reason of the war uh, from Russian side is actually senseless, senseless war. But the reason why Putin do this war because uh, uh, we want to be democratic uh, European country and. Uh, uh, Putin want to rebuild Russian empire, and uh, without Ukraine, it's difficult to do it. It's uh, his dream to rebuild Soviet uh, Soviet Union. We was in the USSR, and we don't want back to USSR. We see our future as democratic European country and part of European family. The the mayor of Hostomel, which is not far from you, was reportedly killed by Russian troops. Can you tell us anything about that? 
It's my colleague. They um, uh, just bring the, the try to help with the evacuation, bring the food, uh, and make the green corridor. In this moment, the, uh, he was killed. Uh, it's uh, no rules right now. We see uh, we see how many schools, preschools uh, destroyed, how many civilians died in this war. The Russians explain it's just war against the Ukrainian soldier. It's not. It's not because thousands of the people right now around Ukraine uh, injured, killed, and we see what Russians do it with Kharkiv. What the way, what they did with uh, Mariupol? It's actually cities destroyed. It's um, uh, civilian buildings. It's uh, hospitals, schools, preschools destroyed. Senseless, senseless war. And uh, uh, and we see there's no rules. And yeah. the Russian tanks fired in uh, civilian cars uh, kill the people we have a lot of a lot of pictures in uh, in uh, in internet in uh, in tv yeah. uh, how I, how is I will say i'm i'm very sorry mayor because um i know as you said he was a colleague of yours and someone that you knew um i know you're aware poland says that it wants to send fighter jets to ukraine but it wants to do it by sending it to a us nato base in Germany, and you have the American Defense Department saying that that is untenable. They're rejecting this proposal by Poland. Do you accept that? I don't want to discuss about that. We we need to help immediately, because in minutes, in hours, because uh, we understand we're ready to fight. We need support and weapons support. We stand in front of the strongest uh, army in the world. Well, then let me ask you this. Do you, do you need planes? Do you need these fighter jets? We need, we need planes. We need the jets. Definitely, we need the weapons. We're ready to fight. Please help us. Help Ukraine. Mayor uh, Klitschko, really appreciate you making time with us today. Please stay safe and please be in touch with us. Thank you very much. Thank you for the help. God bless.